My name is Camillo Pasquarelli. I'm from Rome. I'm based in Rome. I'm Italian and I'm a, I'm a photographer. My background is in anthropology. I have a master's degree in anthropology. And after that, I decided to switch, let's say, to photography. Uh, but I wanted to keep both, let's say, the best aspect of these two uh, disciplines together. So definitely my, my artistic practice is, a, a, is something in between anthropology and photography. I try to use both. I really uh, try to use the anthropological approach through the photographic medium. Monsoons Never Cross the Mountains is the um, series that I submitted for the film talents and uh, it tried to explore the emotional landscape of the valley of Kashmir. Kashmir Valley is one of the most militarized zones in the world and is a contested land between India and Pakistan since 1947. Nowadays the population is fighting against the Indian administration and what is happening every day is that people gather on the streets and throw stones to the security forces. And I've been working there since 2015 and I was working there at the beginning with a very um, reportage approach, photojournalism approach. I was looking for information in a way. And, but then after a couple of years, I was not satisfied with the images I was producing. Um, the visual narrative that I was creating was not satisfying for me. So I decided to, 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 to skip to another kind of uh, visual narrative, a much more uh, personal and oniric um, narrative. In a way, I wanted to engage the classic uh, visual narrative of conflict zone in photography, but I didn't want to do some self-referential project that's saying this is my point of view on the Kashmir issue, this is my point of view on Kashmir. I needed a more specific point of view and that's when it came out the idea of using uh, the children point of view. The children point of view allowed me to create a visual narrative that is uh, confusing, is ambiguous, is uh, not easy for reading because children doesn't perceive reality uh, in a clear way. They just perceive it with spots. They don't make connection of meanings between things. So that was the key of my project then, like uh, using the point of view of the children to portray this emotional landscape of a conflict zone. I needed to uh, give a punch uh, to the viewer make some image very strong. So what I did is I included these photos, which is a portrait of this young boy, he's a 14 years old, that lost his uh, arm. And he lost his arm because he grabbed one abandoned shell from uh, the field. He's living in, in a very remote area, very close to an army camp. I decided to include it for two reasons. One, for, as I said, to give some strong uh, point of uh, the project, but also because the portrait is so um, tender in a way. He has this very beautiful and tender face and the, the gaze of the viewer, I always thought that was super concentrated on his expression, on his face, that was so, so sweet. So, but so sweet as a children, but also very uh, serious as an adult. And as much that you don't really see his arm, if you see the photograph, you arrive to his arm later on. You're really co concentrated on his face. And in a way, I adapted it, this meaning, um, putting aside this photograph, a flower, to give like a more uh, sweet and to low it down a little bit, the strong uh, meaning of it. Two words that describe, I think they describe my, my my body of work about Kashmir are uh, evocative and ambiguous, especially because of the using of, of diptychs uh, uh, that makes the visual narrative a bit less um, easy reading, like matching two photographs. One photograph tells something, convey a message, convey an atmosphere, a feeling, many things. Two photos matched one aside each other, start to create a, a narrative. And I tried to build a narrative where my voice is there, of course, like my, um, the path that I want to follow, the, the narrative that I want to create is clear, it's there, it's, 
accessible. But on the other hand, I really believe that the viewer that can see uh, the photos can interact with that and can read it in a very uh, active way and finding new meaning, new meaning of the matching, new emotions from the matching. And that that what makes ambiguous in a way. I didn't want to be straightforward and easy reading. I want to, the viewer to um, interact in a very active way with the images that I created.